Hello everyone, here are the PYQs of Indian Economy from June 2010 and December 2010. Question number 17. The Human Development Index HDI was first developed by UNDP. Question 25. Which of the following is not the objective of tax reforms in India? Suggesting ways to increase the share of indirect taxes and total tax revenue is not the objective. And the other three are the objectives of tax reform, reduction in multiplicity of custom duties rate, then improving tax compliance and widening the tax base. Question number 26. Assertion reason. Assertion. Indirect taxes promote inequalities in distribution of income. Reason. The poor bear more burden of indirect taxes. Both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation of A. Question number 41. Unbalanced regional growth in India is due to all of these. Unequal budgetary support by central government to different states, then special distribution of industries, then the third one, inadequate uh, development infrastructure in some states. Question number 42. In HDI, which one of the following is not taken as an indicator? Per capita food consumption is not the indicator of HDI. The indicators are life expectancy, literacy and GDP per capita. Question number 43. Question number 43. The union budget is presented under the article 112 of constitution in India. Union budget is presented under article 112. Question number 45. New agriculture strategy has all of these. Why and the gap between the rich and the poor farmers? Then increased production of only few crops. Then led to an increase in regional disparities. From the summer 2010 paper 2. Question number 8. Assertion reason. Assertion. Devaluation in general is resorted to increase the exports reason. It makes exports cheaper. Both assertion and reason are correct. Uh, next question. Assertion, reason, assertion. The role of monetary policy in developing countries general is to achieve growth with stability. Reason, it makes availability of credit to public at cheaper rate of interest. Both assertion and reason are correct. Question number 18. The concept of sustainable development was given by Brutland. Question number 20. Which of the following is not an indicator of globalization? Achieving exchange stability is not the indicator of globalization. The other three are the indicators of globalization. Those are opening of the economy for unrestricted imports and exports, then buying free capital movement among nations, then free movement of technology among nations. Question number 26. Various trade reforms after 1991 in India were implemented by Manmohan Singh. Question number 29. When was minimum reserve system of note issue adopted in India? In 1956, minimum reserve system of note issue was adopted in India. Question number 30. Which one of the following is not the objective of monetary policy in India? To stabilize exchange rate is not the objective. The other three are the objectives. To isolate economic development, to achieve price stability, to regulate foreign uh, foreign trade. And, uh, and the parts of uh, monetary policy and fiscal policy in this are to isolate economic development and to achieve price stability. And to regulate foreign trade is only the part of monetary policy, not the fiscal policy. Question number 35. Matching. J.M. Keynes. Gave general theory of employment, interest, and money. Then David Ricardo gave principles of political economy. Adam Smith gave wealth of nation. John Robinson gave economics of imperfect competition. A is the right option. Question number 36. Matching again. RBI came in 1935. NABARD came in 1982. Planning Commission 1950. And FCI came in 1964. A is the right option. Under which article of the Constitution of India is the Finance Commission is appointed by the President of India? Under Article 280, Constitution of India, the Finance Commission is appointed by the President of India. Article 280, Finance Commission. Question number 41. Who is the Chairman of Economic Advisory Council of Prime Minister of India? C. Ranga Rajan.